Gee, Brian, what do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the... Wait, no, that's not my line. That's not what I'm trying to do here. No. No. Take two. Gee, Brian, what do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every video, Pinky. Try to get more subscribers. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. We are here to talk about the new revamped, reanimated 2020 13 new episodes that Who has released The Animaniacs. Now, I am a 90s kid. Uh, the show originally, I believe, came out in 93. So I was about like five or six years old when it did come out. And all I gotta say is thank goodness that this uh, show came out on regular television because we didn't have cable growing up. So otherwise I would have been screwed and would have really missed out on a great show. And I'm just gonna say it off the bat, you guys. For somebody who grew up with it, who has a nice little warm spot for this show in their heart, I am very, very, very pleased with what they did with it, with the revamp, with the reboot, with the reanimation of the Animaniacs 2020 because they didn't fuck it up. Unlike what they did with like Scooby-Doo and like Tom and Jerry and they're trying to like revamp them and like redesign them to fit like the generation of now and they really like fuck up the design like I really am not a fan of like the new Scooby-Doo's how Tom and Jerry's looking like oh they they just they're doing too much like just leave it the way that they are and just kind of take note with what the Animaniacs did they just got like a little mini makeover like their colors are a little bit more brighter they have better lines but for the most part you guys it's the exact same thing the Karens of the world are gonna dislike this show but you know they're fucking Karens and they hate everything. They do make fun of a lot of stuff. So obviously they do make fun of like politics. There's like a, a Trump baby sketch um, in the uh, the show as well. So we do want to get the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. And then Ralph the Security Guard and of course Pinky and the Brain are pretty much the only ones from the original animated cast that we do get back in the reboot if you have children and if you're not like fragile on certain topics because again they do poke fun on a lot it's kind of like one of these cartoons that they're cartoons for kids obviously but then they do have some sort of entertainment for like adults also oh they do have like a halloween episode that's really really fun a little parody on pennywise and one of my favorite ones it was just a little skit that involved uh ralph and a vampire it was not the halloween scene series if you grew up watching this you would not be disappointed you guys you will not like just get the freaking like free trial for hulu to just watch these 13 episodes because if you're in lockdown or whatever then you could just you know in one day go ching us in those freaking episodes to be honest with you you know start it in the morning and, and just kind of go back to you know your childhood even though the the show if i recall when i was little it was like an after school show if i recall i don't remember it being a saturday morning cartoon but you know what you can treat it as a saturday morning cartoon get your cereal get your toast get your coffee now and just like sit there and and, and watch the show once your child if you are a parent gets up you know have them and it's just gonna be like a nice family bonding experience even though i did say we don't get the original cast two of them do make small little i guess cameo and two separate episodes because each of them have like their own deal i do want to just give you guys that heads up in case mindy and um uh, the feathers and hello nurse and the freaking squirrel i forgot her names <laughs> totally forgot the name and then the, the nephew you know all these other characters that are part the freaking uh boo the rooster and dr scratch and sniff if these are like maybe your favorite ones you know just don't be surprised that they're not in the episodes to come but if you've seen the 2020 version of animaniacs what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you did you grow up watching the animaniacs were you excited uh, to hear about the revamp did you maybe not even know that they had come out with some new episodes are you planning to watch this with your children now are you a karen are you gonna be like oh boycott this if you are then you know what just leave my video because i don't i don't need negativity on animaniacs because i freaking love this show but yeah let me know down below who's your favorite character who were you bummed that wasn't involved within you know uh this season uh from the original characters all right you guys that's all that i have for you guys today of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.